Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back. It is the King and I Life podcast. We are on the Seven Sins. Um, make sure you hit us up. Follow us on whatever podcast platform you subscribe to. Uh, like, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, everything is in the description. Go ahead, Sun Soul X. Hey, man. Y'all gonna reach us at K-I-N-G A-N-D E-Y-E 369 at gmail.com Again, that's King and I 369 at gmail.com If you guys want to follow us on other platforms Hey, hit us up on that Patreon, man And if you want to contribute to the show which we much appreciate you can also hit us up on Cash App And all of our descriptions as far as like reaching out to us and contacting us are in the description box. So, gluttony. Look here. Ah, let me get this shit off my chest. Yes, sir. Overindulgence and the overconsumption of food, drink, and wealth items. Look, we are an overweight society. We seem to be. Um, heavily addicted and overindulging and over consuming food which is goddamn unhealthy to us in so many damn ways um we're not invincible protect your vessel um you only get one um True that. don't take your point to yourself to the point where you know you have these irreversible illnesses and and, and stuff because you've you know, the food that that is out there on the market. Look, they pumping this these 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 food items with so many different types of chemicals, preservatives, and additives, and all this, that, and the other. GMOs. Um, I'm not gonna say I have the best goddamn diet out there, but I don't have the worst. Um, but you know, it, it's people out there who are, um microwave parents or microwave babies uh fast food babies fast food parents um you got to switch that shit up um uh you know smaller portions this that and the other um it's for your health it's for your, your your legacy and all this that and the other um overindulgence and overconsumption of drink some motherfuckers just don't get it um and 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 i say that with the passion from the pit of my fucking belly um we've all known someone who has over consumed and overindulged on alcohol to the point where it just derails their fucking life and it's it pisses me off because it's like you, we have so many goddamn reference points to where this is not good. Um, I'm not going to sit here and, and be the one to act like I'm throwing, you know, I'm, it's okay for me to throw stones at a glass house because I've had my times where I've overindulged. Thankfully, life, you know, has has afforded me the ability to avoid any trouble behind it. Um Never had a DUI, never had a DWI. Drinking has never caused harm to anybody. It's never caused any uh, irreversible harm to myself. Yes, I've been drunk, throwing up, whatever the case may be. But motherfuckers is out here drinking to the point where, you know, they lose their lives. They uh, disrupt somebody else's life. You catching fines and all this shit, and it's it's altering so much because you overindulge. You got to cut that shit out. Um, it, it, is this not worth it? You know, overindulgence on alcohol, food, drugs, this, that, and the other. Uh, it, it's it's just not worth it. Um, and again, you know, well, not again because this one right here. Although it's a common thing to the other ones, I feel this one can kind of sit out by itself. And also I can separate this from the religion part because it's like, yeah, you may look at it as a sin, but I look at it as a a, 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 a 
a basic thing in life that you should know better not to do. Um, and I take it personal because, you know, I know people who, who have gone through this gluttonous bullshit and, and, and then, you know, they hit certain points in their lives where, you know, their life is difficult because they chose to be a gluttonous ass and, you know, it's put them in a position to where now you got to rely on somebody else and they take people's fucking kindness for weakness. And it's just, it, it's fucking mind blowing to me, man. Real fucking mind blowing. Yeah. I mean, we, we just barely hit the surface of this one on the last one. Again, when it comes down to food, let's be honest, people, the food that they're, they're giving us nowadays is not the food that we grew up on especially for the people of my generation um, or our generation. Let me take that back. Um, they're, they're basically fattening us up for the damn slaughter here, people. When we we consume this food, and again, not you know throwing stones at anyone because I, I'm guilty of it my damn self. Um, when we consume this food, it's just not made from the same items or it doesn't have the same nutrition that it once had. You know, it's pretty much they've taken out what was good and replaced it with other things, meaning sugar and things that deliberately make us addicted to this goddamn food. So when we overindulge in the food, we have to stop and realize we're overindulging because we're damn near to the point that we're hooked. Just like a a person consuming narcotics, we're hooked. Um, can you get unhooked? Hell yes, you can. But it, it takes some practice. Um, as far as drinking, and again, I've done plenty of damn things dumb as hell while dreaming or drinking. Um, I've been in situations, I'm not going to say a hell of a lot of situations, but I can remember one particular situation where me and a friend of mine, um, we went out one night drinking, like drinking, drinking. Mm. And... I, I guess we got so comfortable with goddamn drinking and, uh, you know, partying um, that it really never even crossed my mind that, hey, how the fuck are you going to get home? <laughs> so one of the dumbest things I ever did was I got behind the wheel of a car and drove. Mm. And here's the killer part about it. When I woke up the next morning... I was laying in my own bed, remember thinking, how the fuck did I get here? Wow. That's how drunk I was. Mm. And again, thanks to the universal uh, creator, I called my homeboy and I'm like, man, how did we get home? He was like, you drove, fool. Mm. And I'm like, I did? And he's like, yes, mm. you drove. Like, you don't remember driving? I was like, no, I don't remember driving. Yeah. So, again, thanks to the uh, guardian angels that I have, because they were damn sure protecting my ass that night, son. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> but I want to say, bet. after that night, when I woke up the next day and, you know, fully became um, sober, I was like, I am not doing that dumb shit again. Mm. I mean, that that really was an eye opener for me, as they say. And the gluttony behind that was overindulging and drinking and partying. We weren't mm. on no damn drugs. We weren't on no weed, but we were damn sure getting fucked up. Man. We were drinking like crazy. Wow. And... Where we went, we were at, I'll say from my house 
to where we were was probably about a good goddamn 45 minutes, 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. There, there was no way in hell, you know, at any time I, I could have, you know, taken someone else's life or killed me and my homeboy. All right. Doing some, some dumb shit. And that's exactly mm-hmm. what that was. Some dumb shit. Um, yeah. But I, I, I'll get off that. I'm just saying, people, when it comes down to drinking, do not drink and drive. Don't do Don't it. do it. It ain't even worth it. Hell no. By the time you get done from paying these damn lawyer fees and get your license back and Ooh, lose your job. Down, yeah, lose your job and community services and, mm. you know, Lord forbid, or, you know, creator forbid, you, you take someone else's life in a process. It, it just, it's not worth it, baby. Um, but I'll move on to wealth. When it comes down to wealth, I think there's nothing wrong with people being wealthy. Um, I will say this, though, when you are so wealthy that you go out of your way to try to control other people's lives, you really are a sick bastard. Mm. You're sick. You're using your your money and your influence to control other people. So it's kind of like you want to be the damn puppet master. You you really got some balls. Mm. (laughs) I'm going to leave that one alone, but, um, yeah. Status yeah, symbol. Status symbol. Like you, you really got to think about that one. Status symbol. What, what is a status symbol to you? Is it I your mean, when it, Yeah. When, when it comes to gluttony, you talk about a status symbol, it's like, um, People, when it comes to gluttony and it comes to overindulgence, overconsumption of food, drink, and wealth, it's like, as far as food, let's look at people who enter eating contests. You're overindulging in this food so that you can be the uh, the hot dog eating champion or um, I guess like man versus food. He's doing all of this so he can be the, oh, damn, he did that. He's the shit. Um, but what are you solving? Um, when it comes to drink, um, you have you heard of this guy called uh, Shoe Nice? No, oh, never heard of him. Um, I don't know if he's still up on YouTube, but... Um, let me tell you, this joker would take a fifth of liquor, no matter what the fuck kind of liquor it is, mm-hmm. he would drink the whole thing straight. Straight. Hell no. Um, gluttony. Becoming a status symbol because you can drink that? Like, what message are you sending out there to the world? Um... And bro, let me tell you, if he's still on YouTube and you can look him up, look up Shoe Nice and Devil Spring Vodka. Um, this vodka is like 160 proof. Jeez. This vodka, when you take a shot, it burns all the way down here. The bottle says, do not drink it straight don't drink it straight i'm gonna send you a picture of it later all right i'm gonna show you exactly what the fuck the bottle say but i say all that to say you drink that straight like what are you proving like that like dude just because you could throw a, a fifth of liquor whatever it is down what status symbol are you trying to be? Um, and then when it comes to wealth items, um, that goes back to the greed and the pride and the envy and all, and all that other stuff. You got to get all of this to make people look up at you like, oh, that's the man. But 
when you look at this overindulgence of food, drink, and wealth items, when you're being gluttonous, deep in your heart, does that make you happy? Does that make you feel good? Does that make, does that really make you feel important? Or do you sit back when you buy yourself and, and the crowd is not there? How do you really feel with your gluttonous behavior? True that. I really have nothing to add to that one. That one topped it off there, so. Yeah. Mm. So sloth. Oh my god, this one. <laughs> A habitual uh disclination. Am I pronouncing that right? Disclination? Disinclination. Thank you. This is this inclination <laughs> to extortion uh, or laziness. Extortion or laziness. <sighs> oh. Okay, sloth. You, you want to take it first or you want me to take it first? Oh, uh, I'll take it first. Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. When when it comes down to getting things done, I will be the first to tell you. Sometimes I I just be lazy than my heart. But it's only because I be on ran so hard uh, before that. You know what I'm saying? That I be like giving my body a chance to catch up. Because mentally, I be like, you know what? You better let your body catch up, man, or you're gonna crash. When you are working so hard and you got so many things, things going on, uh, you got to give your, your body a chance to catch up. But when you are just basically being lazy for the sake of being goddamn lazy, I, I think you're just wasting your time here. <laughs> mm. Mm. It, it's kind of like people that go to college but don't go to class. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. you're basically wasting your time and your money here mm. so the, the best thing you can do is just move on but I, I, I just feel that there there has to be a limit to it you know what I'm saying like mm. I think we've, we've come to a place in society now where um, sloth as they say, is very <clears throat> plentiful. <laughs> mm. I, I think that the ones of us mm. out here who are actually working and grinding and, you know, trying to uh, take society and keep moving society forward, mm. we're actually the ones who are catching the most hell right now. Mm. Because there are certain individuals right now that, that, you know, they're making more money using sloth than they would be if they were actually damn working. Mm. And it, it, it's funny, me and my, uh, a friend of mine were having that conversation about, you know, why people are taken to this, this mindset of being lazy and not working, you know, for anything because... Basically, to a certain degree, the government is taking care of them now. My mm. point was, I wouldn't want anyone to take care of me. His point was, if I had the choice to let someone take care of me, I would probably let someone take care of me. <laughs> mm. Mm. But those are my thoughts on that. What you got? Oh. It's another one that burns me to the fucking core. All right, as you were saying, and to sum up what you were saying in the beginning, everybody has their goddamn day. Because mm -hmm. some of us put out, put out, put out. And sometimes we just want to sit down and take a break. Hell yeah. And it's like our definition of lazy is not the definition of lazy. Our definition of lazy is 
Look, I've been grinding all week. I just want to sit down and chill out. Period. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm-hmm. But to have a disinclination to exertion. You really have no desire to exert yourself in anything habitually. Like every day you get up and do the fucking bare minimum. Unacceptable. Unacceptable as a human. Unacceptable as a man. Unacceptable as a man who has a family to raise. And unacceptable as a fucking man with dark goddamn skin. I'm going to put it out there. And that's my opinion. Although this is not a a racial thing, but it's too many of us out there with this disinclination of exertion. You can go to damn near every major fucking city and see it with your own two eyes. You can see it with one eye. You can see it with your pinky. And with your example, these people want, 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 but they're not willing to work, 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 as Rihanna would say. (laughs) Um... (laughs) And then some of them are just so fucking lazy. Like, I think the saddest part is to see a motherfucker walk past you every day in your life and be like, what the fuck is they doing with their life? And and as T. Kirk, TK Kirkman would say, who raised you? <laughs> um, I love when he say that shit. <laughs> but, you know, um, some of us go out there and bust our ass and then we have someone sitting right next to us, whether it's at work, at home, on a sports field or whatever, who is doing the goddamn bare minimum. And it's 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 sad because they are like mentally mind fucked to, to a degree where they just have no, de- and it's like, you're a zombie. Like you're worthless. Like you ain't shit. Like what the hell is wrong with you to where you cannot find it in your goddamn skull, your backbone, your your balls, your gut to exert yourself. It's not fucking hard. Do you want or do you not want? Um, do you want to be a fucking handout? You want to be breastfed for your rest of your life? Or do you want to be the man of the house and be the feeder? Like Come on, man. Like, help me understand. This one, I have to take this one definitely out of religion. Um, Although it can be replied, applied to a to religion. And again, like the other ones, it could be to one's interpretation, but I don't give a fuck what you're doing. If you habitually have no inclination to exert yourself, if, if you are too lazy in your life to do more than the bare minimum, that's a fucking problem to me. I mean, there there's some people out here who physically, for whatever reason, really can't work. Or I understand that. Who can't work. And we get that. You know, no judgment on that. But for those who are physically and mentally able to work and just don't work because you have no inclination or assertion to do anything other than to just just thrive off the damn system, as they say. Mm. I mean, what kind of message are you sending to your kids, if you have a kids, mm. to the people around you. Yes. And I'm not saying that you got to work yourself to the damn bone. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is there should be some type of momentum to support yourself and your family if you have one. Exactly. 
I mean, so many people are just to a place now where they, they feel like you should just give it to me because you have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, but you don't deserve it. Not what one if, bit of it. Why the hell would I give it to you when you don't deserve it? I'm the one who's out here busting my hump and doing, you know, everything within my power to uh, provide, you know, for myself and my family. But you want me to give you what I got because mm-hmm. I have it? That makes no sense. None at all. Like everything None that I, I'm doing, you can do for yourself. Only thing I do is goddamn apply yourself, dude. Really. Yeah. And there's some some people who feel um, because, and I'm not bashing any particular group of people, but they feel because they one raised like you were raised or they didn't have the opportunities that you had or um, because their sex is different. Mm-hmm. You know, things along those lines. I mean, people have excuses for days, but truth of the matter is, man, you are in control of your own goddamn destiny. Mm-hmm. True enough, it might not always go according to plan, but at the end of the day, nine times out of ten, no one is making you not do anything that you don't want to do or something that you, you know, you're like, I don't give a damn. Right. I'm going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. The point that I'm making is no one can make you do something you don't want to do. Right. So if you want something, you're going to have to get out there and get it, man. You're going to have to work for it. Yeah. There are some shortcuts. And I hope you take the smart shortcuts. <laughs> right. But I, I just think that there are a certain group of people who prey on other groups of people. And then there are groups of people who are just out here just trying to damn get by man like they, they really out here just trying to survive like it's funny I was having this conversation with my co-workers today that shit death is easy cause life is fucking hard mm-hmm. I remember that line I, I want to say Tupac said that line but mm. I, I totally agree with that man god damn life is hard man <laughs> It is. Man, no, the sad part about it, it don't look like it's getting any easier. But anyway, just being lazy is not going to get you anywhere. Point that I'm yeah. making. You, you, you said life is too hard, and then I will go and say life is too hard for a motherfucker to be slothing around. It is. Because if you ain't taking care of yourself, don't put that don't put that on nobody else man. Mm-hmm. don't put that on nobody else it ain't nobody, nobody else's responsibility to take care of you or whatever the case may be mm-hmm. um so man the fuck up man that's it do what you're supposed to do uh take care of yours um i don't know that that's i, I i'm not even gonna add no more to that because no. <laughs> as you know <laughs> That's one of those that uh that'll get me that'll run me hot, as they say in certain places in the South. Yes, sir, man. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the King and I Life Podcast Rundown of the Seven Sins. Yes. Again, we're not trying to offend anyone. You, know, you, might catch you me have on a certain belief side. or you have a certain religion that you follow, by all means do so. You live your life the best way you know how and more power yeah. to you. But yeah. again, just don't hurt anyone else. And I'm asking don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Um. Yo, we've been rocking to uh Colton Brochel Hall, uh fellow classmate from Mannheim, Germany. 
throughout this episode. So go check him out. He on SoundCloud. Um, as far as us, everything is in the description. But yo, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll let you go ahead and close it out, bro. Yes, sir. Hit us up on that K I N G A N D E Y E three six nine at gmail dot com. Again, that's King and I three six nine at gmail dot com. Um, you can also, you know, subscribe to our Patreon channel, and if you would like to contribute to the show, it's much appreciated. You can hit us up on that Cash app. And again, everyone out there who's listening to our podcast, we just want to thank everyone because we discovered we are in 22 countries now. Yep. 22 our numbers are steady going up, and we are so appreciative. Probably next show or sometime before this week is out, we'll run down all the different countries. But anyway, we we just yeah. want to say thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. We appreciate you. We love you. Thanks for the support. Keep listening. And again, if you want to be on the show, email us. Let us know. Give us a little background on you and, and whatever you got going on. Have any topics for us that you want at the top tackle or what you want to be a you know be a guest on send that topic to us with a couple of talking points so we, we know where you coming from and we will either rock with your talking points or we'll throw in a few or whatever the case may be um other than that i got nothing else man peace peace family all righty we out of here Got him.